Okay, I think that we can get started and if any of you can just send a message on Slack to let other people know to join, um, other trainees, as there are very few here out of I think 37, there are not that many. Um, okay. Are there any announcements from the team, from the Team Academy team? None from my own parent, thanks. Yes, Mary, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, a quick announcement is that today's hot seat, we are going to have our very own Michael. Sorry, uh, uh, we, we didn't uh, get to share the message ahead of time, but I had some challenges with uh, coming back online, but I'm glad that I'm back online. So you guys get prepared at the end of the, um, uh, towards the end of the stand-up, we are going to have Michael on the hot seat. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Mary. Um, okay. Can someone just tell me in the messages, are you still working in the groups, in the five groups, so that I don't have to, I think everyone found it a bit redundant last week when I was asking everyone to tell me the same information. So are you all still working in the five groups? Okay, it's individual work. Okay, cool. Thank you. So then I'll just go down the list. I'll wait. Two minutes for someone to volunteer to speak, and then uh, you guys know how I do the stand up by now. So, good morning, Martin. Please go ahead. Yeah, morning. Yes, yeah, so <clears throat> I thank you for the opportunity. So, I was. Uh, working on the just understanding on the ethereum uh, concepts the ethereum virtual machine the contract solidity the all those concepts that uh, tie around ethereum and there is uh, the, yes there's a lot that uh, it, it, it's it's quite a, it's a wide scope and it's not only just used in the money setup but it's also used in other uh, particular in other things like games and all that, many other things that it can be used to deploy, that can be used to deploy to, just only what you have to put into consideration is that issue of exchanging of computing resources. So um, what I was working on yesterday was that, and I wanted to begin today because I also I was working on planning on how I'll develop the entire uh, D app decentralized application from start up to finish. So I was I was trying to figure out exactly how to uh, configure the entire application so that it can be a bit uh, smooth. There are so many. Uh, there's so many libraries which we can use the true full hard app and hard app and all that. So I was looking at which one is the best one to use for this particular case. And also the deployment is something that I'd like to encourage everybody to uh, think of the deployment strategy. You think of it like before you start doing the deployment, uh, because at times you might, you might think that you'll deploy on the final day and then you end up deploying it for like three days. So, uh, deploying it if you think of it early enough and uh, you build it up along the way it becomes a bit easier to handle uh, my major and small changes as you continue developing the decentralized application uh, so that is what I'll be working on uh, today and I'll also work on um, ensuring that the entire that, that I'm able also to figure out that thing of geographic locations and whether I could be able to compute the distances uh, to check whether I could be able to find out the ranges uh, for different, uh, yeah, for the location. But I also had a question because I, when I was trying to go through to understand the entire, the challenge document, there was something that uh, 
I I didn't find to make sense because uh, in the in the challenge document it says uh, at any point if the GPS sensor indicates that an employer is outside the range of the agreed GPS area, I think that should be the employee, not the employer, because if you read over there earlier, it it says that. Uh, if an employee is uh, in, inside a particular area and they have already contracted that he's going to be paid if he's in that particular area within a particular interval of time. So if he moves out, he fails to comply and therefore he will not be, he will not be uh, paid the amount. So that is why I was wondering whether it's the employer or the employee uh, on that particular point because it might be a totally different uh, thing. I don't know whether Yabbal can respond to that. Um, I'll just see. I don't know if he's on the call um, or the um, Desmond or Anastasia. Or, 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 or maybe also just any training. Maybe it might be that I know the one was understood it well. Yeah. Uh, is there anyone who can offer some help? to Martin regarding the question that he has? Uh, may, may I tell him? Uh, okay, how I Yeah, the way I understood it is Martin, uh, uh, there will be like uh, two ways of accessing the back end. That means the smart contract that's from the employer side, from the employee side. So from the employer side, uh, the basic uh, features uh, the employer can uh, do is just, uh, you know, the create uh, a list of uh, employees and uh, uh, supply like uh, parameters for each of these employees, like uh, a geographic limitation as well as time limitation, and then submit that to a smart contract back backend, and then from the employee side. Uh, the only thing they need to do is just, uh, uh, you know, load uh, the requirements from the smart si uh, smart contract to know exactly when to uh, send the, geog the geographic, like the GPS data from uh, and from what location. Then uh, during that time, the only thing they need to do is just uh, submit that uh, data. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm answering your question, but uh, that's basically the setup. So. Uh, like um, my my question was uh, on that. There's that particular part where it says, uh, if the GPS indicates that the employer, because yeah, I've understood what you are saying uh, about uh, the sending of the GPS coordinates and all those things. But uh, I wanted to understand on this particular point where it says that if the GPS sensor indicates that an employer is outside the range of the agreed GPS area, who is the one who is uh, first of all, who is the one who is initiating the contract and who is the one who is paying the other? Because over here, the way, as far as I'm concerned, the employee is the one who is, who is paying the employee. But uh, on this other side, it appears like uh, it's the employee who will be out of terms in the contract. So that's why I was thinking maybe uh, it, it should be uh, the employee in this case, not the employer. What exactly does... Uh... Uh, challenge document uh, takes to say? I'm sorry. Oh, the challenge document, it says, uh, just the second paragraph, if at any point, if the GPS sensor indicates that an employer is outside the range of agreed GPS area, the contract state will be updated and uh, it will be sure that they are out of compliance. Yeah, I, I think that's, uh, that's an obvious uh, typo. So I, mm. I don't think uh, you should, uh, you know, read too much into it, just... Uh, if you understand the general uh, you know, requirement, uh, uh, I think uh, it, uh, you're good to go. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, a few people have said in the messages that it's a typo. So I guess you can confirm, but as Biniam said, don't read too much into it. Uh, Biniam, you are next on the list. Would you like to share? Your yeah. Okay, so uh, yesterday uh, I'll spend the, my time trying to go through the challenge document, understand every aspect of it, and also explore some of the resources that has been provided in the document. 
they were really helpful. Uh, it took me some time to uh, shift my mindset from uh, uh, the Algorand setup to uh, uh, the Ethereum setup, but uh, generally since they share a lot of uh, concepts, it wasn't as hard as the first time, so I didn't have any blockers so far. Uh, today I'm going to be setting up the environment and start working on the, uh, the challenges. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you to the people who are sharing in the chat. Um, Daniet, good morning. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing your name properly. Could you go ahead and share? Okay, I'm not sure if she can speak. Uh, Gizan, good morning. Could you please um, share your updates, any blockers that you're facing? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Just to make an update about my yesterday. Uh, mostly I was to uh, see the challenge document in detail and try to uh, uh, make some patterns for our accomplishment before I start implementation and I was trying to explore concepts provided in each reference uh, and additionally I would try to I try to set up my environment uh, install uh, some libraries which is connected to the the project and I have tried the MetaMask. Uh, I didn't try it, but I got some challenges on it. But uh, once I get that, I didn't uh, retry it. It's like yesterday's, uh, the error like yesterday's on yesterday's tutorial. So that I will try it uh, today and I will ask for tomorrow. I will make it ready. So this is from my end. I'm just uh, exploring those, new, those uh, concepts. Okay, thank you for sharing. Um, Titus, okay. um, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Kerry. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Okay, so uh, from my side, uh, yesterday I also spent a chunk of my time just uh, going through the chatting document. I also managed to set up my environment. So um, today I'll dive deep into like uh, trying to implement some of the stuff that I that I read and uh, explore more about uh, explore more on the sharing document. I haven't like uh, there's still a lot that I should do. So yeah, today I'll just keep on uh, just get a, a better understanding of what I'm supposed to do before I make necessary progress. So yeah. Uh, thank you. I think that's my progress so far. Yeah. Thank you um, for sharing. Ken, good morning. Please go ahead. Good morning, Kari. Good morning. So yesterday night, I went through the references that were shared in the challenge document. I also tried to set up the environment but it's not ready yet for for the project i installed some of the packages that will be needed and also set up my github repo for this project today i'll finish up on the references that are not touched and finish up on setting up the environment thank you okay thank you so much um Peruk, good morning. Could you please share? Okay, I'm not sure if he can speak. Um, Hikma, good morning. Could you please share quickly your progress?
Okay, so everyone seems to be using the chat today. Um, Malaku, could you please share? Uh, good morning, Kay. Good morning. Uh, give an update. Yesterday I was uh, reading the charting document. And I was also uh, trying to install some of the tools that we'll be using in this week. So uh, after the tutorial, uh, I try to install the hardcut and other tools. So I haven't fully uh, grasped, grasped uh, uh, the whole idea of the charging method. I tried to at least install the tools that will be so they uh, I will start reading about it more and I will start working. That's my idea. Okay, thank you so much um, for sharing. Tesfaye, good morning. Okay. Good morning, Carrie. Okay, how are you guys? Good yeah. morning. Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah okay. Okay, so um, yesterday uh, I just go through the challenge document and also try to uh, install the environments that we saw uh, on the yesterday's tutorial and they are working for me. And uh, for today I'm planning on uh, maybe starting the reporting part and getting some ideas of, of the challenge because in the past weeks I have seen that writing a report is, will help with the challenge as well. So yeah, I'm planning that and it's good by, by my side, no blocker as far as I'm. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear you are not facing blockers. Uh, Meron, good morning. Could you please share? Good morning, Kerry. Can you hear me? Good morning. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, just to update you on, on my progress, I am try. I have been trying to look at the challenge document and just understand uh, this week's challenge. I wasn't, uh, to be honest, I wasn't able to do much yesterday. I was feeling a bit under under the weather, and today I'm just trying to catch up and understand the challenge document and uh, organize what I'm going to do next. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that you're feeling better now. <clears throat> um, Michael, good morning. Could you please share quickly your progress and any blockers you might be facing? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Yesterday I was, I was going through the challenge document and I, I created a repo and uh, organize my weekly tasks uh, and also created some issues to be more organized and also I read and see some uh, I saw some videos and read some articles about the Ethereum since it's new for me and about workers uh, it is somehow my time management other than that there was no broker except uh, about uh, the wizards uh, somehow here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if you're facing time management blockers, please reach out to your fellow trainees and get help wherever you can. Sure, sure. Um, Rafa, good morning. If you're okay to speak, please go ahead and share. Yeah. Hi, morning, everyone. Kerry, uh, so um, for this task, I didn't really get started, but um, today I'm starting looking at the challenge document, and it's like I need to read more about the literature of this uh, task so that I I'll be able to go with the flow and. Uh, just one thing uh, for the schedule, because I didn't find it, uh, so is it The weekly shared? schedule. 
the week 10 schedule for the week yes week, week 10 yeah um i believe that i saw it um it was yeah, shared yeah it's in the week 10 channel um okay. is shared it there i see Okay. okay, and I think uh, Tedessa has just put it in the messages. So there you go. Okay, thank you. Great. Um, thanks for sharing. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out who has not put something in the chat. Samuel, are you able to share? Yeah. Hello, Karen. Good morning to everyone. Uh, Hi. Okay. Okay, for me there is uh, no blockers. I haven't read uh, most, fu not fully on the resource, but I'm planning to catch up and to I haven't installed any thing yet. But I hope I will catch up and do everything uh, today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Salam. Okay, good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, well, yesterday I, I was looking into the challenge document and was trying to understand the overall concept that we are going to work on this week. And I was also writing some of those concepts and also setting up my environment. And now currently I'm trying to understand how a smart contract solidity programming uh, uh, work and uh, that's my progress so far. Today, thank you so much. Um, Tedese, are you able to share? Yes, sir. hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay, from my side, I just uh, this hard to say I have started the task, but uh, to understanding level, I have uh, uh, I have looked at what the references that shared yesterday and uh, a bit i have a good understanding of the smart contract that we will going to develop and uh, i think i will start uh, writing the report and also working on the code part by today okay i'm glad that you're making progress thank you for sharing the Woodros. Good morning. Hello, Kerry. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, yesterday, I was just going through the challenge document and also the references, and I managed to set up my machine. And so today, I'll be working on the report and uh, like understanding about solidity. So no blocker so far. Okay, great. Um, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. You did hear. Uh, are you able to share? Yes. Hello, Kerry. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so just to give an update, yesterday I've been trying to go over the documentation in the challenge document, and I have been able to set up my local environment and play around the online environment as well, which is the <coughs> uh, the Remix Ethereum IDE, and I haven't I haven't yet faced any kind of challenge or blockers and it's all going well on my side. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Um, Jonas, good morning, are you able to share? Okay, I'm not sure. Um, okay, we've had some people join in the home. Are you able to share? Okay, Jonas is going to type. No home. Okay, I'm not sure if I can. Uh, Nardos, good morning. Are you able to share? I see you are unmuted. Okay, Nardos is also typing. Um, then I think everyone has spoken. Um, Mary, are you able to take over for the hot seat because my power has been off for a while and I'm running out of battery life? Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely I'm here. 
Thank you so much for taking over on that. <laughs> okay, okay. Hi guys, are we doing all right? Today it seems that we have a, a lower number than expected. I hope we are all excited for the next session. Are we ready? Should I see some reactions in the charts or something? Okay, today say, you did, yeah, you're yet to sit on the hot seat. I'm looking forward to that day. Yes, Matilda, Salam. All right. Okay, Michael. So if if you can go ahead and show your your pretty face. Uh, <laughs> there you are. So, uh, guys, just a disclaimer. When I was speaking to Michael, it was like, no, 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 <laughs> not the camera on. I, I don't know what to show my hair and my beard. But I should say, your beard looks fine, so you don't have to, <laughs> to worry about that. Okay. okay, Michael, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Um, so the drill, you know the drill, Michael, if there's any uncomfortable question that you feel like, okay, you want to keep it yourself, use the word pass and, uh, you, you will use only six, six minutes for this. So guys, I'm expecting some hands up already. Some hands up. I'm waiting for the hands up. Sorry, today I'll keep my video off, um, for some, um, reasons similar to Michael's, but, but for me, it's about the location. <laughs> it's about my location. I do not want to worry anybody, uh, for now. So I'm still, I'm still waiting for more hands. Okay. Daisy, there you go. Uh, Rafa is up. Okay. Two more, two more before we get started. Two more hands guys. All right, Michael, I'm just going to start the timer and the times, but, but we usually have that thing that goes on. Um, we, we need to be using it. All right, that was our signature intro one. Okay, the timer starts now. Michael, uh, what are two of your weaknesses? Two weaknesses. Mm, I think that for the wood and I'm, I'm like Any? restless. Okay, okay. Tadese, go. Okay, uh, after July 27, if you hire if you hired in one company <clears throat> what you will buy using your first salary what you uh, plan to buy <laughs> arsenal new full jersey oh and i can see there you're like oh visit rwanda okay you did yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh okay mike what's the worst thing that you did to a person i didn't hear one the worst thing that you did you did to a person. Yeah, yeah to fighting with, yeah, fighting with my best friend after being mad uh, of Arsenal <laughs> losing. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Where I go? What kind of kid were you growing up? <laughs> yeah. a, a lot fighting, restless, and and also a, a clever student. Yeah. Oh, nice. I like the clever bit. Okay, Dagmar, we go. Uh, hi, Mike. So, uh, what's the recent lie you told? That I told someone or someone told me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, lying to me is that I'm not uh, good to be on camera. I'm, I'm having a lot of beard. And I'm not, that, that was the, the recent lie that I made. <laughs> okay, that was a recent lie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, hi, Michael. What's the ideal fasting location for you? Huh? The ideal fast date location, like you're taking someone out. Where are you going? In Ethiopia or outside Ethiopia? Anywhere. Uh, yeah. In Ethiopia, I would like to take. A friend to Bahardar, Lake Tana. 
in those sites. Okay, is it like uh, a maybe, city? Yeah, the city inside Ethiopia, yeah. away from Addis Ababa, 575 kilometers. And uh, if outside Ethiopia, I would like to take someone to London, flying base. Nice. And uh, that the date will have gone very well. Okay, good one. Rafa, go. Yeah, what's uh, one thing that you want to change about yourself? My addiction, no doubt. My addiction to the world. Your addiction to football? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, the Ghana has spoken. All right. Salam. Okay, well, where do you see yourself in a year? Mm, being self friend and a helpful person. Nice. Um, okay, Ken? Guys, what you can keep the hand coming. Okay, Michael, what's the craziest excuse you have ever used to break up with a girl? <laughs> okay, uh, Ken, okay. I haven't been in a date and I haven't been in a relationship ever. Okay, okay. No follow-up question. All right, Titus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike, um, who's your favorite person? And would you choose, like, between the favorite person and football, pick one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my favorite person is my dad, and uh, definitely I will choose my dad. Okay. Oh, okay. I can see people are becoming more like Ken here, you know, you know firing shots. Nados, go. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Uh, if I were to kill you today, what, what is your last request? What do you Take want? Me to, yeah. Take me to flame race at least once. That, that's my last. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for anything, just for something that's cheap. Yeah, only just that. He's happy to have that and die. <laughs> yeah, that's my <laughs> primary goal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vinium, go. Vinium, we can't hear you. Okay, as Vinium is fixing his mic, uh, test fire. Okay, Mikael. So, uh, what do you want to see? Arsenal winning against Norwich or United losing against Norwich? United losing against Norwich. <laughs> <laughs> that was very close. Okay, Matilda, go. Oh, Matilda cannot speak, but Matilda's question is, what are your life values? Interesting one. Mm -hmm. Maybe say yeah. three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my life values are like, I want to be self friend being mm. helpful to my families, and also uh, telling about the, the the bad sides about me and the times I lost, more or less being helpful to others. That's a okay, success nice. that I... Rafa, go. If you have to be a president for one day, a president of Ethiopia, what you are going to do? Spreading love and prosperity. What does that mean? And also <laughs> trying, uh, like we can, we can summarize like this: trying to work on the concise of uh, people, and as much as possible, to to preach about love, to preach about thinking. Well, All right. Good, yeah. All right, Biniam, go. We still have uh, about uh, four, uh, about four uh, seconds. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I gotta ask uh, this. Uh, so, where exactly do you go every day after the evening? <laughs> <laughs> Mad, that should have been a secret. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just chilling out with my friends and having some beer. <laughs> All right. Nice All right. So, Michael, what is that one thing you, you, you would, ch if you had the superpower to change uh, one thing about Africa, what would it be? Like uh, the the racist thinking about the, the racist thinking that is the racist okay. mindset. I'm like to that one. All right, guys, and we've come to the end um, of this session. So I will tally and just tell you how many you've scored, how much you've scored. So well done, first of all, Michael. You did so well. I was expecting like the 
you, you know that big beard the way you were talking about the beards you have <laughs> that was very that was, yeah i was very disappointed to see that oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that was not very accurate so you managed to score yourself you managed to answer uh 19 questions in six minutes so that is uh well done so guys you can congratulate him and now michael tell us how was the feeling being on the hot seat yeah it, it's, it's it's a nice experience mm. But uh, turning on the video is somehow weird. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're not used to the video bit, yeah? Yeah. And yeah, I feel yeah. you. Okay. So, uh, any any two feedback? Two feedback for uh, two or three for, for, for Michael. What did he do well? What do you think he can improve on? How did he perform? Hands up, anyone? Rafa says, Michael, you did a good job. I think you did really well. And you were very composed with the questions. So anyone else who wants to give him feedback before we close? All right, Biniam. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> uh, really good looking guy like you should always, uh, I think, uh, <laughs> turn on the camera. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I think the camera beat is uh, is the magic of the hot seat. Anyway, thank you guys. I don't know if there are any other questions, Curry. If there are any anything else from the Ten Academy team, any from um, tutors. Otherwise, we'll just uh, come to a close. So see you guys in the next uh, uh, sessions for today. And all the best. Keep being good. So bye, guys.